How we doing today, YouTube? DC from DC Grills back with another cooking video. And today, we are making Southern Fried Chicken on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill using the Vortex accessory. So can't wait to show you this cook, folks. This is gonna be so amazing. Crispy on the outside, tender on the inside, fried chicken made on your grill. So let me show you some of the ingredients we'll be using for today's cook. First, we're gonna use two different seasonings. We'll be using Lori Season Salt, and we'll be using the complete seasoning. Okay, for our batter, we have three eggs that we're gonna whisk up and we're gonna do a double dip on this chicken today. Now the batter we're gonna use is Zatarin's Southern Fried Chicken, okay? So can't wait to show you this, okay? Let's look at the stars of the show. What we're frying up today is about eight to 10 chicken thighs. So you know what we'll do? I'll take you to the cutting board, show you step by step how we're gonna season these take you out to the grill and show you how we're gonna set up that vortex on the Weber Summit. And at the end, we're gonna get this baby done and show you some awesome fried chicken made on your grill. I wanna thank you as always for joining me and let's get cooking. Okay folks, so we are out at the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. So we have the Weber Summit, we have the vortex. I'm gonna bring you closer and show you how we're gonna do this grill setup today. Okay, so we're at the grill. Let's get it opened up real quick. Now what I did last was an oxtail cook, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the grill grate real quick, get this to the side. So I have been putting foil on my diffuser plates just to try to keep them clean. So that's why you see foil on this diffuser plate. So let's get this out of the way. We won't need a diffuser plate today. Okay folks, so now we are at the charcoal. All right, so let me make sure you can see this good. It looks like you can. So we were burning some Fogo lump charcoal last. I'm gonna move it around a little bit. And we're gonna use this uh, as uh, the fuel for our vortex. So what I'm gonna do is try to get this piled up the best I can. Let's get the vortex over. So our vortex, we're gonna set her right in the middle. Now the cool thing about the vortex, you know that the concave type shape it has actually just forces this heat straight up the middle, okay? So you get this hot heat that goes straight up around the dome of your grill and just evenly cooks your food. So that's what this thing's all about. So now I want to put my grill grate right here, all right? But I don't want that high heat burning my insert grill grate, so I'm gonna remove it, all right? So that thing is out of the way. Now, last but not least, we're gonna light a bed of hot coals in our chimney, and I'll use regular Kingsford. Pour it dead inside right here, and then folks, we have, again, high heat cooking. Our chicken thighs will go on the outside of the Weber Summit, and we're gonna have an awesome final result. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the chimney lit, and then we're gonna head on in and go ahead and start mixing up our chicken batter. See you guys inside. Okay, folks, we are back, and I took the liberty of going ahead and breaking these eggs. I wanna go ahead and get them whisked real quick. So I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time sh showing you that. I know you know how to get that done. Okay, so we'll get these eggs blended well. This will be a part of our double dip that we're going after today. Okay, I'm gonna move that to the side. Now, what we also want to do is go ahead and add our seasoning. Now, this is the Zatarin's Chicken Fry. I always like to add a little more seasoning to these things. So we're gonna come back with the Laurie seasoning salt. And I'm going to say we'll add about a tablespoon, okay? And we also want to come back with the complete seasoning and do about the same there. Okay, so that is our way of helping with the spices here. Get this stuff mixed a little bit. Okay, folks. So we're all mixed up and ready to go. Now it's just a matter of getting our chicken going through the process, right? So let's get started. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start off first by going into our seasoning, right? So this is our batter. We do that first. That gives us a light coat. That, I like to shake off the excess. We're gonna go dip one time into our egg mixture. Now this does get messy, but that's okay. So we dip in our egg mixture and right back into our batter, we go. This is how we do a double dip. 
All right, so again, we got that done. Let's shake off the excess and place it on our tray. Okay, I'm gonna do that for all the remaining pieces of chicken. We'll do one more together. So remember, we start off first just by going right off into our mixture, all right? And it will stick because the chicken has been washed so it is, has a little bit of water on it to help, help it adhere. Okay, so there's our first coat. Now into the egg mixture, we just do a dunk. Flip her over, do another dunk. Drain off our excess. And back in we go here. And I just cover it, folks. I just coat it, flip it, and coat it. Okay, and it's gonna adhere. I mean, you got the egg on there. It does a good job as, bi as a binder uh, for getting all this stuff together. All right, folks, we'll get together when it's time to pour our, our charcoal into the vortex, and I'll continue on with this process right now. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back. I just wanted to show you what we have. We have nine beautiful chicken thighs that have already been coated and seasoned. Let's head outside now. The uh, charcoal should be ashed over and time to pour into the vortex. I'll see you guys outside. Okay, so we are ashed over. As you can see, we have a nice glow on our Kingsford charcoal. It's time to add it right into our vortex. So let's do that and see if we can keep from making too much of a mess. Worked out perfect, folks. It worked out perfect. Okay, so that's what we got going on. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the lid. Make sure my damper on the bottom is open. Okay, so now we have the heat coming straight on up like I said we'll place our thighs around the side I'm gonna clean the grill up a little bit but get it closed up now and let the temperature come on up to about 350 to 375 I'll see you guys in a bit YouTube let's take a second to just look at the vortex in action okay when you're talking high heat cooking and fast right the vortex gives you that it gives you that targeted heat and it, and it does, it heats up tremendously fast. When I started talking, we were close to 200 and look how it's racing up. Look at that folks. This baby is climbing fast. Now we also have the rapid fire assist, right? So what you have is airflow coming from the bottom of the grill, right on through that vortex and out of the top vent. All right, look at it folks, 275 and climbing. Now what I need to do is go get the chicken because we're gonna be where we need to be in just a second. I would say in the next two minutes, we'll be right at around 350 where I wanna be. So I'll go grab the chicken, but just wanna show you just how fast this thing heats up. Almost 300 folks. I'll see you guys in a bit when it's time to add the chicken. Okay folks, we are back and we are at my favorite part of the video and that's let's get cooking. The vortex is up to 410 degrees and steady climbing. It's time to burp it and get this chicken added. So we're gonna go right around again, the circumference of the grill. Really looking forward to this. This is gonna be a phenomenal cook. How are you gonna beat fried chicken on the grill? This is gonna be a masterpiece. We have to call it out, claim it for what it's gonna be. It's gonna be good stuff, folks. We got three more pieces to go. All right. Okay, folks, that's what we got going on. I will get back with you in about 25, 30 minutes. At that time, we can start checking internal temps, but it won't take long with this Vortex and the Weber Summit. See you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back. We are holding at around 370 degrees. We're about 15 minutes into this cook. I wanna do a little bit of maintenance real quick and show you guys what I'm talking about here. You see we are starting to brown up nicely. These things are coming along well. What I wanna do is shoot them a little bit with cooking spray, just a little bit because I want to make sure we get everything browned up really nicely. I'm shooting for the perfect crust on this chicken today. OK, 
Okay, so we did that. Then we're gonna come back with a little bit of the complete seasoning to make sure we build up those flavors. So that's what it's all about. You guys know that. A little complete seasoning on top. This stuff's gonna be ridiculous, folks. Okay, we're gonna shut her back down. Grill is gonna get really angry if I don't hurry up. This is what we got going on, folks. I'll get back with you guys in about 15 more minutes and let you see how it's looking. This is awesome kettle fried chicken on the Weber Summit today. See you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back and we are about 45 minutes in. I brought the Thermal Pro out, so we're gonna go ahead and start checking internal temps and see exactly how we're looking on this chicken. Uh, I'm excited about seeing it. This will be the second time we've opened this baby up. If you remember, we opened it up momentarily and added the complete seasoning. Now we're gonna open it up and start checking internal temps. So let's see what we have. Lord have mercy. Look at that folks. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Look at the color. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's get started on internal temps and see what we got. Oh, it's so crispy. Okay, so the first one, we are at 170, 180, 184 and rising. Done. Let's go to the back. Hope you guys can see this. Again, 190. Oh my God, almost 200 degrees. These babies are done. I'm going to get them pulled. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to get these pulled and I'll meet you guys at the cutting board. We can check out the final product of our Southern Fried Chicken made on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill using the Vortex. Let's get a close-up of this and let you guys see what's going on here. Absolutely wonderful. Great cook today. I'll meet you guys at the cutting board. Okay, YouTube, we are back checking out the final product of our awesome Southern Fried Chicken made on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill using the Vortex accessory. Folks, this chicken speaks for itself, okay? First off, listen for the crunch. Crispy on the outside, and we're gonna cut into it in just a second. So let's talk about what we did real quick. We started off, we broke three eggs, mixed them up with a little bit of milk. We used Zatarin's chicken fry, okay? All we did was a double dip. We started off with the chicken in the chicken fry, put it in the egg and back into the chicken fry. From there, we put it on this warming rack and just let it sit while we went out and got that awesome grill going with the Vortex. We shot for around 400 degrees the entire cook and it took roughly 40 to 45 minutes to complete these awesome chicken thighs. Now, in between, we sprayed one time to make sure we get this crispy crust and to make sure that we add more seasoning and flavor, we added more of the complete seasoning on top. All right, I'm gonna move this to the side, but what I wanna talk about first is the Vortex. You're talking about a simplistic, yet well thought out accessory. That's what the Vortex is. You have a conical shape that is targeting the heat straight up around the dome of that Weber kettle and just cooking your chicken evenly. What an awesome idea. I'm gonna move this to the side. Now let's check out awesome fried chicken at its best. I'll give it a cut right here. Listen, folks, listen to that. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what D-Ski Grills is up to. And as always, at D-Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. This bite has my name all over it, folks. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Give this fried chicken recipe on your Weber kettle a shot. You won't be sorry. Catch you guys later. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm, mm, mm. This could be the best fried chicken I've ever had. Catch you guys later.